Hi, this is Kerry with Learn DaVinci Resolve, and today we're going to cover one of the new features in Resolve 16, Adjustment Clips. This is a super powerful new feature that is really going to change the way a lot of people do color grading and adding effects. It's kind of like what we could do before with shared nodes and copying and pasting and things, but you give a lot of functionality with adjustment clips. So let's take a look when we come right back. Okay, so I've got some clips here that I want to edit, and they're all the same lighting, they're all the same uh, color profile, they're all going to be very, very similar, so I want to apply the same effect to them. So I'm going to come to my effects library, go to effects, and add an adjustment clip. And I'll just stretch this across the entire thing. Now, any adjustment that I make to this adjustment clip will be reflected in all of them. I'll close the effects library so we have some room here. Actually, I'm going to open that back up and we're going to take a look at a couple things. So if I do open effects here and oh, let's um, <laughs> let's just find a simple one here that's not going to be too crazy. Oh, we'll just do a blur. We'll just do a lens blur on it. So I'll drop that lens blur on there. And now we can see that it has been applied to all of them. So pretty simple right there. And I'm just going to go to my open effects on here and delete that. So I can add multiple effects to this. I can actually have multiple layers of adjustment clips. So maybe I want to do color on one, I want to do effects on another one, and uh, something else on another one, I can stack them. I can uh, kind of transition between them using the opacity handles and fade between one or the other. Let's go over to the color tab here, and let me turn on my clips so we can see that I have the adjustment layer selected here. And, regard, you know, wherever I'm at on my timeline, I've still got that adjustment clip selected. So now I can do pretty much whatever I want in here. I'll go to my LUTs here and I'll just add a gnome crawl uh, LUT in there. And let's turn on our scopes. Because one of the things I wanna make sure is that they're all consistent. So if I've ad added a LUT or an effect, I can now go to each individual clip and make sure it's not getting blown out or crushed or whatever. So this first one looks good. Second one, maybe I can bring up these blacks just a little bit. So I'll go to my lift and I'll just bring my lift up a little bit. I'm kind of crushing the highlights up there. So I'll just pull that down and it doesn't affect anything else. It only affects this clip, even though I have that adjustment clip across all of them. So I can very quickly get a grade done that is for my entire timeline without having to go to each individual clip, copy, paste, copy, paste, or use the minus and equal sign to go back and forth, uh, either one clip or two clips. Sometimes this is just going to be way, way easier than doing it other ways. So I can come back here to my main clips here and all those adjustments are right there. Very, very simple. So while this is a, like I said, it's a very simple new tool, it's also extremely powerful because I can do so many things to it that um, I'm going to actually add another one. So let's go to effects and let's add another adjustment clip on top of this one. And now I can kind of play with different effects. So I'll come over here, go to my dehaze, and I'll just drop that on here. And then I can quickly see how that looks because often adding a dehaze with a very small amount can be um, a really nice way of making your images pop a little bit. So I can turn down the strength, but it's going to affect everything. So sometimes this is a good way of doing things. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes you want 
only a filter on one clip versus everything, but in other cases, you want that same effect across all your clips so that you're consistent. And that's a real key to color grading is consistency, making sure everything matches, everything looks similar so that there's no big shift from one thing to another, especially when the, the scenes are supposed to be very, you know, they're supposed to be the same. So using adjustment clips is a great way of grouping effects and then applying them to that set of clips. Now I can then copy this and maybe my scene changes and I want to use an, a different adjustment clip for maybe the indoors. So I can have that. I go back to the outdoors. I copy that adjustment clip, paste it over those, and I'm done. So very quick way of, of doing that. Um, sometimes it's going to be a way of just adding a look to the entire uh, movie or clip or footage that you're doing. Uh, an example of this would be the TV show Alaskan Gold. After the first few seasons, everything... Every shot has this gold tinge to it to we'll go along with the theme of Alaskan gold. Well, they could do all their editing, do everything they want to do, all their color correction and balancing, and then at the end, add an adjustment layer that just adds this goldish hint tint to everything, and done. And then they can reuse that over and over and over again without having to remember what settings they used, how they did it, what values they input. They just copy that adjustment clip, paste it over the new footage, call it a day. So in some ways, this is going to be a very, very big speed improvement, productivity, efficiency improvement for a lot of people. So I hope you enjoy this. This has been Kerry with Learn DaVinci Resolve. Be sure and like the video. Thumbs up if you do. Thumbs down if you don't. Uh, it's up to you. If you like it, hit subscribe and check that bell icon to get notified whenever I put out a new video. As always, folks, thanks for watching. I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.